Yeah, I'm from Russell, Ontario. My favorite vegetables are bananas, of course. And today I'll be playing for Team Squirrel. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm also from Russell, Ontario. And my favorite flavor of pine cone is barbecue. And I'll be playing for Team Acorn. Welcome, Welcome to, to Games Galore Fall, Fall Edition. Edition. Today, myself, Team Squirrel, and uh, Team Acorn over here, who's probably going to lose, j just saying, um, are going to be competing in three very suspenseful, dramatic, and intense fall games, which you can also compete alongside us if you want to. That's why we're going to give you a list of materials coming up next for each game. All right, let's go get some materials. All right, so the first game we're going to be competing in is called Outdoor Boccia. We're going to be using a selection of things we found outside in our yard to act as the balls. Now we realize that you probably don't just have random spaghetti squash laying around. That's totally okay. You can find whatever you have around your house. You can use, you know, rocks, pine cones, acorns, whatever you can find. Also, if you don't feel like going outside, Find some things around your house. That's totally cool. The objective of this game is just to get as creative as you can with what you're using for your boccia balls. So, I mean, I think a squash is pretty creative. <laughs> We're also going to be using an apple as our jack ball. So you need one jack ball. And make sure your jack ball is something that stands out a little more. So I picked this red apple. Should be able to see that pretty well. And Team Squirrel is using these squashes as their balls. And Team Acorn is using pine cones that don't taste like barbecue. All right, so you're gonna need six balls and only one jack ball. Or, I mean, you can use as many balls as you want, but we just went for six. All right, we're gonna show you how this works now, and then we're gonna have a very intense game of outdoor boxing. All right, welcome to our first competition. We just thought you could get up really close and personal and really see how this game plays out. You can place your bets now on who you think is gonna win. Um, personally, I think I'm gonna win, but you know, we'll see. So we're gonna start our game off by throwing our jack ball. And I'm gonna be a nice guest, and I'm gonna let my, uh, a nice guest, a nice host, <laughs> and let my guest throw the jack ball first. So we're gonna get up and go over there, and you guys can watch the game as it goes on. All right, Team Acorn, you're going down. All right, there's our jack. Do you guys see it? Does everyone see it? It's right here. This is where you're gonna wanna aim your other balls now. So I'm gonna throw my squash or my six different squash and Team Acorn is gonna throw her pine cones and whoever can get the closest to this apple wins the game. All right, let's go. Oh, nuts. All right, here goes my squash. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can beat that Team Acorn. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty close. Oh, 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 oh no. I just put the apple closer than the pine cone. Oh, oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> that was gone. <laughs> All right. I've got two squash left. <laughs> I have two pine cones. Mm. Oh, brother. That one's not... Oh, oh. Okay. One better than I thought. Oh, that one's gone. All right. Let's see who won. I'm gonna give you guys a close-up of this, this mess of squash and pine cones over here. All right. Oh boy, here's our Jack. Who do we think's the closest? Oh boy. I think, I think Team Squirrel has been defeated. Team Acorn wins! Yeah! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, I think the cow back there also wants to play. Not today. Stop it! 
<laughs> she heard me. All right, so our second competition is a little something we like to call eco-friendly bowling. They might be thinking, <laughs> what is that? Well, we'll tell you. You're gonna need your recycling bin, not your cardboard recycling bin, but your blue bin with all your with all your cans and bottles and whatever else you might have in there. You're also gonna need a selection of different balls. You can use a big ball, you can use this mini little soccer ball, you can use a baseball, you can use a softball, whatever you have in your house and whatever works for you really. If you have, if you throw better with a bigger ball, use a bigger ball, it's really up to you. You can also kick, you can throw, you can build a ramp, you can launch the ball off of a table. Anything that works for you, works for us. Um, so we're gonna be playing this outside since it is games goal or fall edition. We thought we'd embrace the great outdoors before it snows. Um, so we're gonna be playing it here on our patio. You can play this in your driveway, you can also play it in your kitchen, whatever you feel like doing. If it's raining as you're watching this, maybe don't go outside. Um, so yeah, we're gonna show you how this game works, and then once again, we're gonna be competing. Okay, so here's our selection of bowling pins. You can see we've used some cans, some old shampoo bottles. Oh, they're already falling over. And a big old can on the front there. We're gonna stand pretty far back. And I think we're gonna throw our balls and whoever can knock over the most pins, we're gonna do best two out of three. Whoever can knock over the most pins is the winner of the second competition. All right, so we've opted. Oh, hello. Excuse me, sir. I'm, I'm trying to film right now. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in. <laughs> okay, so we've opted to use a softball and we're gonna take about 15 step that, steps that way and throw the softball. You can take as many steps backwards as you want to. You can use whatever ball you want to, whatever suits your skill level or whatever you're comfortable with, that works. All right, let's see who wins. Actually, uh, this girl's gonna go first because I let you go first last time. All right, here comes my first shot. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna set them back up now for Team Acorn. All right, here's Team Acorn shot. Oh! And she knocked over zero. That's a winner. <laughs> All right, that was round one. Round one goes to Team. Squirrel. All right, here goes Team Squirrel. Hey yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I just did the exact same thing. <laughs> oh no, this isn't looking too great for me. Okay, come on, Team Acorn. I knocked over four, let's see if she can beat me. Okay, the only downside with using recyclables is that they blow away in the wind. <laughs> so you might have to move this indoors. Okay, last shot for Team Acorn.
Well, uh, she seems to have knocked over um, almost all of the pins, so safe to say Team Acorn wins again. Oh god, this isn't looking too great for me. Let's, let's move on to challenge number three. Welcome to our third and final game of the Games Galore Fall Edition Tournament. We're going to be playing a game we like to call Pinecone Toss. What you're going to need for this event is a selection of different buckets and, you know, small, big, whatever you can find. You can use your recycling box, uh, garbage pail, garbage pail, garbage bin. You can use bowls. You can use whatever you can find. If you want to do this indoors, use bowls and cups and mugs and anything you can find around your house. And for your throwing, we're going to be using pine cones. You can use balled up socks, you can use balls, you can use actual acorns, you can use, again, whatever you have around your house. If you want to go outside, look for stuff outside. If you want to stay inside, find stuff inside. Okay, so we're going to start our game now. And I mean, I don't really think there's any way I can redeem myself, but you know, maybe I can walk away with the pride of, have just, of having just won at least one game, hopefully, because, uh, <laughs> This tournament didn't go so well for me. You know, I haven't competed in a while, so I was a little rusty. Um, but let's see what happens. We'll show you how the game works. Okay, so we've set up all of our buckets and pails and things over here, and we're gonna be throwing our pine cones from over there. Again, just like last time, you can take as many steps back as you want from your targets. If you wanna make this a little more challenging, you can also assign different points to each different size bucket. For example, the smallest one, this one could be worth a thousand points, while your biggest one, like the recycling bin, could only be worth a hundred points. Do it however you want. If you want to make it more challenging, add points. If not, you can just throw your object into your buckets, and if you get them into the bucket, you get a point. Okay, let's see how we do with this. Okay, so we're each going to throw three times. Team Acorn, that wasn't very good. Yes. Oh, so close! Okay, now if you want, you can continue the game. You can do multiple rounds. We're gonna do, how many rounds do you wanna do? Three? Yep. All right, so we're gonna do three rounds. So we're gonna throw again. I got one point this round. All right, round two. Oh, she gets one in the white bucket. Another one in the white bucket. Oh, that was so close. Ooh. <laughs> oh, missed. Woohoo! <coughs> okay, so we tied on that round. We both got two points. Alright, we're doing round three now. Ooh, same bucket again. Another one. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Yay, recycling box. Alright, she got two points. She wins round three. Now we have to go into overtime because we're tied. Fall edition of the tournament. Alright, thank you for joining us for
for Games Galore Fall Edition. Unfortunately, uh, Team Acorn won. Yeah. And she won a barbecue flavored pine cone, your favorite. And a pool skimmer. Oh, do, you, yeah. do you have a pool at home? Uh, nope. Well, you can use it for your bathtub. Or for the lake. If you decide to play any of these games yourself, we would obviously love to see pictures or even videos. You can send them to pinecabin at easterseals.org. And if you want us to post your pictures on Facebook, let us know in the email. We won't post anything without your permission, don't worry. And with that being said, thanks for joining us. Again, we'd love to see some pictures. And bye for now. We'll see you next time. Bye.